you, mu you must have such a giggle doing this. I know, it's a real laugh, and it's always great fun trying to think up the private, sort of secret, secret scenes that you might be, you know, trying to uh, That we make... crave, right? <laughs> that, that we crave. Right. Well, and that's, that's what's behind all of this. Um, we've become voyeurs. Um, totally. And now you don't know what's real or what's fake. Uh -huh. And if it might be fake, you're still quite happy to believe it's, it. Yeah. It's, it doesn't matter, does it? So I'm sort of almost replacing the real. So the photograph is a replacement. It's not even a fake. And it doesn't matter if you're real or fake. Who cares? You can just move on to the next one. <laughs> so we live in this kind of world that you can't, uh, you can't believe anymore. So is it because we, we need to look and we need to believe? Well, we need to believe. I think it's the whole nature of photography as well, because mm -hmm. it kind of seduces you into thinking it's real. But we all know it's only a part truth and, you know, it's only a segment, isn't it? Yeah. And something else is happening over there while you're looking at the photograph here. It's very yeah. true. Yeah. Have, you, have you ever crossed any lines? Well, I try. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm constantly thinking whether I should or shouldn't. So I'm quite careful, but mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure I'm suddenly going to do something I shouldn't do. And well, some you got Prince Harry like, arrested. Yeah, well, that's right. <laughs> well, I, was, I parked my lookalike van <laughs> full of lookalikes outside Prince Charles's house, which was, uh, you know, not uh, the greatest thing. So when I came back an hour later, I was just doing a quick photo shoot with a fake queen outside Buckingham Palace. <laughs> came back and found Prince Harry had been out of uh, the van uh, and he'd been waiting in the van all, all day and so the police came along and sort of were trying to put him in handcuffs which was not great. Never well, saw him again. Be, you never saw him again? <laughs> <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Let's look at some of the, uh, look at some of the, of the pictures. Uh, as you say, you know, close to the line, sometimes one foot over yeah. the line. Um, uh, Diana, Princess Diana, um, what, what, made you, what, what made you decide on this particular shot? Well, it's just, you know, she was chased, you know, as we know, into a tunnel and I think, or chased all the time by the uh, press and by the public. We all had a need to see her mm -hmm. more and more and more and more. And so it was just a, a, you know, how did she feel about all of that? Mm -hmm. And so it was a picture, you know, with her finger up, I don't know whether I can say that on morning or TV, um, as saying, you know, that's to you guys mm -hmm. for chasing me around, mm -hmm. really. What about uh, Donald Trump's a favourite? Yes. Isn't he? Well, I love Donald Trump, you know, as an image, not necessarily his politics. <laughs> the most extraordinary moment that he's actually a master of the media. Mm -hmm. The Queen on the Loo is an interesting one. <laughs> no newspaper or anyone has ever shown this in uh, only in my television show or a, yeah. a, a book or <laughs> but something we're allowed. like that. <laughs> That's right. So it's the first time, because I'm always interested in breaking taboos. Yeah. This is obviously... You can't imagine the Queen on the loo and, hey, here it and is. I never have until I've just <laughs> No, I really, I, I really haven't. I suspect we'll probably spend the afternoon with the lawyers now. <laughs> You're taking all of, uh, all of this into a, into a theatre show. Mm -hmm. I am, um, yes. So what will you, how will you uh, show these? In what way will you will show your art? Well, I mean, I'll be showing my films and photographs and uh, then uh, talking about the behind-the-scenes anecdotes because it's very, very funny creating this and um, some very funny things uh, happen and outrage. And the lookalikes think that they, they become the real uh, celebrity. Mm -hmm. So, and then I transform people from the audience if they want to come up yeah. and I'll make them into uh, a, a real celebrity to give them a, a taste of what it's yeah. like to be a celebrity. Yeah. So, you know, I'm... Desperately searching for Prince Harry's, Meghan's, Kim Kardashian's. Oh, you need lookalikes. I need people to come forward. To fill up so your can... van. <laughs> yeah. You know, if they vaguely look like people. Because I'm always looking for celebrities and I can never find them, yeah. you know. Yeah. And I'm chasing people down the street, you know. <laughs> well, you heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, that's definitely uh, uh, one of the reasons for going and, uh, and seeing uh, Double Fake. It's in Leicester Square Theatre. And it's uh, and it's the 5th to the 7th of March. Yes, yes that's Thanks, right. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank pleasure. you.